Well, did you get a chance to see the Chihuly glass exhibit at Biltmore before it ended? I'm so incredibly grateful that I caught it back Memorial Day weekend. It was extraordinary. PBS Charlotte recently took a group of donors to see the exhibit in its final days. Thanks to producer Russ Hunsinger's One Tank Trip series, we can give you a glimpse of the beauty right now. Well, I came up with my mother and her college friend and her high school friend. Just fantastic architecture and great works of art. And with the Chihuly exhibit, it's just, I just can't even describe it. Especially with the sun shining on the exhibit, it's just beautiful. This is the home of George Washington Vanderbilt. He was from the Vanderbilt family that really got their fortune in shipping and railroads. He came to this area with his mother, the Asheville area, and just fell in love with it. And he started building this house that you can see behind me. It has 250 rooms, 43 bathrooms, 101 bedrooms. It is 175,000 square feet. So it's about four acres just of floor space. One thing that we're very lucky is we have all the original furniture in the house. So everything you see was there when it was in the Vanderbilt's time. So we're not having to recreate it by looking for period furniture, we have the original furniture. We have over a million visitors come through each year. Well, I just think each room uh, is magnificent, the way they have made it, each individual room, uh, its own self. We're so excited and, and privileged to have the most visited winery in the United States. Uh, that's really, to us, it's kind of a coveted position because wine is a, is a very, very competitive landscape in the United States as well as in North Carolina being a top 10 producing state. So it's very, very exciting to us to be the most visited in the country. We're extremely proud. I mean, it's one of the many ways that we've diversified ourselves toward the preservation of the estate. You know, George Vanderbilt had a legacy of hospitality for his guests, and this just falls right in line with that legacy. The gardens here at Biltmore were designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, completed in 1895. This is the last work that Olmsted did. So everything we do here is try to keep that feel, that design intent that Olmsted had. Here in the garden right now, we've got our mums, and we've got over 10,000 mums planted. We've got six different varieties of mums. Uh, whenever we get ready for our tulips, that's a big one for us in, in April, we've got 125,000 tulips that we plant across the estate. The grounds are beautiful. I didn't realize there was so so much to see. I didn't, yeah, I came here years ago and just never really explored it, but this time I got a little bit further in and it's just fascinating, it's worth it. It's just all memorable. The landscape of the mountains in the back. Kansas is very flat, we don't have any mountains, so it's beautiful to look around and see the, the gorgeous trees. Uh, we are pretty flat-landed, and so to see the mountains and the beautiful trees and the, so much foliage here, it's just beautiful. Keeps me coming back, and I concentrate on one area each time I come and try to do some research, and I'm still amazed how they were able to put it all together. Thanks so much, Russ. The Biltmore is the largest house in the United States, five times the size of the White House. Well, that's all we have time for this evening. 